All right, August 24th, and the old Fed met yesterday in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Beautiful place. Kind of ruined now by all the billionaires moving in, and they ruined it for the normal people. But, oh well. Looks like the rates will be lowered in September. So, that, I don't know if that's good or bad news. Who knows, right? So, what am I doing? Well, I don't know. I think this thing's going to bottom out. They are propping it up for the election. They are keeping the economy going. But with me, sometimes it's safe just to get the cash. I kind of dumped 90% of my stocks. So most were dividend stocks. But again, I was losing a price appreciation as well, like with Starbucks, Home Depot, McDonald's. All these companies are losing money. No one's shopping. No one's buying. Everyone's hurting. Uh, economy is bad. People, people are losing their jobs. They can't afford gas, can't afford groceries, uh, cannot find work. If they have to find work, they have to lose their, they'll lose their job and then end up getting two part-time jobs because they're not going to make their $200,000 salary anymore like they did in Silicon Valley. Tech is being hit massively. Uh, labor is being hit in uh, auto industry. UAW is not doing anybody any favors. And people just are not buying crappy cars, which are overpriced and built by, built by crappy manufacturing processes. It's just not worth $100,000 for a truck. You're lucky if you get you get $30,000, dude. I'm not going to buy a truck for that. That's stupid. And pity the fool that spends that much on a car, man. That's just crazy. Just wait. It'll correct. Hopefully, Stellantis is probably going to go out of business in the States. They just, they're just being stubborn, and they may close the Dodge line. It's I don't know. It just looked bad. Just Google all this crap. There's so much bad economic data. So having said that, I went to cash. I'm mostly in a money market. 5% is better. Because when, uh, when the crash comes, you're gonna, your 5% on your cash is going to look better than your friend who just lost 50% of all of his gains. And he's stuck holding the bag because the rich people got in. They ran the price up. FOMO kicked in. People oh, better jump into this run. And then people put their money in and boom, the rug gets pulled out. And guess what? You're the last one standing and holding that bag. You don't want to be that guy. And uh, what else is going on? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, there's just, I know 5% is not great, but it's better than nothing. Like I said, there are, other, there are alternatives. What I do own yet, I own Exxon. I'm going to hold that for the long. I've held that for years and years and years, getting a dividend on that. XLE is another, um, ETF on energy. I'm just going to get out of that once it gets up to 95, hopefully. And just, I just want to recoup my money because I'm down a few bucks on it. I bought these things at the high and they tanked. I'm so stupid sometimes, but everyone goes through it. Bitcoin is looking pretty good. Again, not great. It's not it's, it's ATH at 70, but uh, hopefully it gets back up there. But I, I believe in Bitcoin. It's probably the only way to get ahead these days. Uh, I'm not a silver gold guy. I went there before years ago. What are you going to do with that crap? You're going to walk around with silver and gold in your pocket? No, you're going to not make it to the grocery store alive if you do that. Uh, Misty is a good one. This is a yield max funds. Check them out. They pay each month. And this one is about a paid one nine one dollar ninety four cents uh, per share owned, so that was not too bad. Pretty high dividend. It invests, uh, does option trading on the underlying company called MicroStrategies. I kind of like this one, and then you can also offset this one and kind of short it using fiat. So if uh, Misty goes up, you'll see the flip of the uh, fiat, which is really a. Uh, an inverse of Coney, but it also works, works as well with Misty. So you can buy Coney, but you got to look at the upside of Coinbase. Coney uh, underlying company is Coinbase. And you can go check and say, well, what's the upside of Coinbase? And it's not as good as the upside of MicroStrategy. So you can buy MicroStrategy and then Fiat and balance those out and kind of preserve your capital in an up and down market. Why don't go up? Why don't go down? So you're not really going to get the uh, net appreciation and the price, you'll, but you'll guarantee you'll get, what does that mean? You'll still get the dividend each month. So if you're, and you're getting paid lots of money per share, almost like $1.94 per share owned uh, on each of these. Fiat's pretty good. I think it's 112% right now. And uh, this last payment on Missy was $1.94. Per share, and what happens after they pay the dividend each month? Usually on the fifth, uh, I think it goes out seventh or eighth of each month, then the share price will drop accordingly a couple bucks uh, based on what they paid on the dividend. Mainly, mainly more. Say they made a 194, you'll see the price drop down to here, in this case, 23 bucks. And then you buy back in if you have more cash. So always buy after X dividend because there's always going to be a lower price. That's the trick with that. 
how will they do in the upcoming recession? I am not sure, but Misty is tied to micro strategies, which is big in Bitcoin. And I'm trying to think what else I got. I got Wolf, that is a Bitcoin miner. So I do have that one. And that's where I'm at right now. All right, what are you guys doing? Are you trading, are you selling? Let me know. That is all I got.